Hey Claiborne, it's Friday. Ever since LEGO Universe has closed down, I've wanted to see LEGO acknowledge and return to it in some way, and so have lots of other community members. Dark Flame Universe is perhaps the largest and most successful LEGO Universe project so far. And right around the 10 year anniversary of LEGO Universe's launch, something happened with Dark Flame Universe. LEGO acknowledged that they had been in talks with the Dark Flame team on how they could work together. So today I wanted to walk through how I got LEGO Universe running locally on my Windows machine. Big shout out to L.U. Baker who provided a great resource in the comments of my first video on LEGO Universe. On the LEGO Universe server projects page, they have this handy guide of steps to go through to run LEGO Universe. The first is to download a client. Several people on Reddit recommended using the unpacked client for the least overhead, so that's what I used. It's a pretty large download, so be prepared to wait for a while for that. In addition, I downloaded this LEGO Universe server that is recommended. There are a lot of other options, but for just getting it running, I didn't want to overcomplicate things. Once I had both the client and server downloaded, I also had to download WinRAR so that I could extract them. Once I got the server extracted, I started it. You know it's working and ready to go if you see the frag jaw battle run across the terminal. After that, I had to do the same thing with the client. First extract it from the RAR into its own folder. I did this on my Windows machine because I wasn't sure if I'd have a Mac client, but it turns out that it's also included, along with a bunch of other files. The instructions on the site indicated that I needed to change a setting in the build config file, but the client I had already had this set up correctly. I think this is also where you'd need to change to point to a remote instance of the game though. The next thing to do was to launch the client. I can't tell you how excited I was to see this screen back on my computer Clayburn, and even more so the ability to log in. The instructions that I'm following provide the username and password, which would probably be different if I had used a different server. When you first log in with them, you have a single minifig who is in Nimbus Station. I had created a second character, but more on that experience later. Also, sometimes the login fails, so it's worth checking your server to make sure everything is still working as expected. There aren't really instructions to go off of at this point, but there really doesn't need to be either. I went ahead and played with Wesley, and after a pretty long load time, I was back in Nimbus Station. Mind you, everything is pretty scant right now, but you can bounce around a bit, and there's plenty of nostalgia there. Clayburn, I'll see you on Tuesday. Also, we've officially reached a thousand subscribers, and a big thanks is in order for everyone that has been on this journey with us so far. If I can get a server running, maybe you and me and our Patreons can test it out. Then we can create a way for some of our subscribers to hang out with us in Nimbus Station and talk Legos for a night.